The alluvial sponge comb is a semi-permeable flood mitigation system designed by Anderson Anderson Architecture in San Francisco. Unlike concrete levees that abruptly cut off river ecosystems at their borders, these deployable flood barriers help maintain residents' relationship with the waterfront and minimize damage to local flora and fauna habitats. The sponge comb is installed along a riverbank with its numerous fingers dangling in the water, helping to control erosion. When rising waters reach the main body of the fingers, each absorbs up to 1,000 times its weight in water, creating a temporary but effective barrier. Individual fingers are made up of two parts. Each finger contains bladders filled with a superabsorbent polymer. Each finger has a central bladder surrounded by eight others, all filled with a superabsorbent polymer, a material commonly seen in baby diapers. Each individual bladder is enclosed in a flexible nylon mesh container, permeable to water as both a liquid during the flood and a gas when it evaporates. The exterior skin is made of two kinds of waterproof materials. The dark green sections are a flexible and elastic Cordura nylon that allows the sponge comb finger to expand when it fills with water. The light green sections are a fabric reinforced vinyl material that's inelastic. Both materials shed water like shingles on a roof, preventing rainwater from expanding the bladders. Water only enters the sponge comb through folded pleats at its side, which can be adjusted to different heights so that only rising floodwaters coming from the ground up will cause the bladders to expand. The exterior skin materials are impermeable to water as a liquid, but the Cordura nylon is permeable to evaporated water. As floodwaters recede and the sun shines on the finger, the polymers re-aspirate water back into the atmosphere, and the sponge comb returns to its normal size, awaiting the next flood. With economies of scale, Anderson Anderson Architecture estimates that each mass-produced finger will cost about $1,500 to $2,000, far less than a hardened concrete levee and much easier and faster to deploy. The firm is looking for partners that can help transition this flood mitigation system from prototype to mass production and commercial availability.